sorry y'all. I'm no pro at this and I'm certainly not tech savvy. Um, just letting you know that anybody can do this that wants to. Um, so just a little bit about my story. I am, I have been doing young living business for about five years, I guess, five or six years. And I've, I've used young living for almost eight years. Um, I'm a nurse, pediatric nurse. So I realized quickly after using the products, just how beneficial they were and how they actually really worked. So I was very intrigued with um, the whole plant medicine portion of it, being a nurse and just the science part of it and the actual um, therapeutics behind it. So um, at that point in my nursing, I was really topped out as far as pay. I wasn't getting any raises or anything like that. I was working part-time, taking care of the kids, doing that, and realized that I could make money doing this. Um, that it was really a product that I loved and that when I was just naturally sharing it with my best friends and family, that all of a sudden within, I think it was four months after me starting using the products and that I was just like, guys, you gotta use this, you gotta use this, it's so great. By that time, my order was paid for, my $100 order was paid for. Um, so from there, and I realized, like, I had an epiphany, and I was like, look, I'm not getting paid anymore with my nursing job. Like, there's nowhere for me to go um, unless I go back to school or do something like that. And then I'm looking at this pay scale on Young Living, and I'm like, man, like, this is something that I could, I mean, the sky's the limit as much as I wanted to do. At first, you know, I just wanted to get my products paid for, and that's where a lot of people start out. Um, and I'm still, it's like step by step for me. You know, first I wanted to just get my products paid for it, and, and I did that within the first four to six months, like I said. My $100 order was paid for. Um, and then from there, it was always like, okay, now I want to be executive. Okay, now I want to be, you know, silver. And so now I'm gold. I've been gold for a good while, a couple years. Um, and now I say I want to be platinum, and then I'll be good. But then I know once I'm platinum, I'm going to be like, okay, now I want to be diamond. So it's, it's always just this stepping stone because it just really never goes away when you actually love something like the product and it works so well and it's just doing so much for you. Um, it, just, it just spirals from there. So there are so many tools for you to do this as a business that it can be overwhelming. So really, you just take what you want there's so much you could just pick pick and choose and you do as much as you want the more you do the more you're going to get out of it i personally i don't do a ton um i could do more which i plan to because um once my kids are back in school in the fall i'm i really want to like really get into it but if you just want to casually do it you will be able to get the products paid for i mean the, as much as you work as much as you put into it, you will get out of it. So that's like all on you. And then there, you know, you go through seasons where you do have time to do it and you put a lot of work in and then you have seasons where you don't. I took an entire year off for family, personal issues and remained at silver the whole time. The, the really, really the only thing that you need to do to be able to even do this as a business or get your products paid for or further is just use the products, learn about them, and then just tell everybody about it. Just like you'd be sharing about your favorite restaurant, your favorite pair of socks. I, I just got this amazing dental floss that I love that I'm gonna share with my friends. Just like that, you use it, you fall in love with it, and you start learning more and more about it, why you need you know, personal care products that are non-toxic, you know, the more you learn, the more, and then you just want to share it with everybody. So it just kind of naturally flows that way. Um, one thing that can be problematic because so many people are doing things like this is comparing your story and your process with somebody else. So that's one thing that if you do start doing this, don't compare your journey or the way you're doing things or the way 
your business looks or, or the way you're sharing with anybody else because it's always, it's personal, it's a personal thing and everybody's way is different. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Um, you know, I've probably done things that wrong along the way and I'm sure, I mean, I do a ton of things wrong, but you learn and you just grow and not only do you grow in this business, but it forces you to kind of grow personally and in, in relationships because the main thing with this, along with loving the products and using them is, is building relationships with people, which, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. I'm kind of a recluse person, so I don't let a ton of people into my life easily like I really just keep a close-knit circle so that was hard for me to kind of I, I, I'm more like to do one-on-one -on -one personal things with people some people like to have huge classes some pe people are funny and play off of that some people put out beautiful stuff like Chris is doing with all of her um, stuff that she makes people do some people do great graphics whatever you're good at whatever your niche is that's what that's the route you need to go and then you don't compare what you're doing with any with what anybody else is doing. If you're um, sincere and just genuine, that is what people see. And they're like, hey, what are you using? What is that? Um, <clears throat> so the and then when I thought about it, Young Living has been around for 25 years. So I would not I wouldn't be doing this with something that was like a five-year company that was gonna go by the wayside like I realized like okay this isn't going anywhere it's tried and true it's 25 years worth of growth with this company you know they're you know over a billion dollar company now so as long as I stick to it it's not like it's gonna fade out it's not going anywhere because the product and the oils that they're putting out is such a good quality and the transparency of the company and that, that there's nowhere to go but up. Um, so when you're sharing with people, what I have found the best, the best way for me to do it is, you know, in the beginning, you don't really know, you just kind of like copy copy stuff off and be like hey here's here's my link here's my number whatever but people don't there's so many mlms and and sales people around people don't like that like that just turns people off right away what they want to see is your personal story they want to see hey look what i did with this look how i'm using this look how it helped me and that's where people get interested and they're like hey what is that where can I get it? How can I get it? Like, and, and if you're consistent with that, and if you're, you're not jumping around from here to here to here, you're consistent, they're going to know that you do Young Living. They're going to know, hey, I'm, I know my friend Danielle likes Young Living. I saw her post this this week and that and last week, and then now she's doing this. I wanted to try one of those. Oh yeah, she's doing it. Let me ask her. So even though there's a ton of people doing it, you form those relationships with people and they're going to come to you when you're consistently sharing about it. Um, like I said, <laughs> some people like to share on social media. You know, there's so many outlets there. Um, I put some stuff out there, but a lot like way back when, when we first started, we were doing like in-person classes and that really works well. Um, we can't say as much now on social media and on the internet because of the FDA. Not, they don't like us saying any, you know, you can't say any disease process. You can't say that it's fixing anything. You can't say that it's helping any body system to repair or get better. You can't say any of that on social media. But when you're in front of somebody having coffee with them, whatever, you sit or, you know, around your kitchen table, you say whatever you want. To those people because you're genuinely trying to help them um, so phone calls work for people some people like phone calls calling people um, some people like in-person classes online classes um, and then or, or social media or a little of all of the above um, but really people want to know like you personally they want to see your personal story 
Um, they want to see how exactly you're using what you're using um, and just to, to share their story. And then when you're also listening to your friends and listening what their needs are, you know that they have a kid with ADHD and you generally see them struggling and you want to help them. And then you offer this with a pure intention of, hey, I want to help their kid, you know? I don't want them to have to be on meds for the rest of their life or whatever. I want struggle in class. So I'm going to introduce them to this because I heard my friend over here, he was using the CBD on their kid. And, um, and I think that that would be helpful for them to try. Um, another pointer is when, when doing this and sharing about it, um, along with just using it, love falling in love with it, and just, you know, picking, I always pick like one different product that I haven't used ever, because there's, I mean, hundreds of products besides the oils. I pick one and I'll use it and find out about it. I'll learn about it. And then I'll, I'll share about that, that one product. Um, but find a partner, find a friend, find, you know, could be one friend, could be two, could, they could be in your, you know, somebody that signed up under you, could be somebody that's above you, could be somebody that's not even associated with, with your Young Living organization, Crossline, and that could change too. Like in the beginning, I had a friend who's not in my, on my Young Living team at all. We did everything together because we were in the same area and we cared about each other and wanted to help each other. Um, it becomes a whole big family of people, not just your own upline, downline, all that. Um, everybody just is, loves to help each other typically. So just find a person that, you know, helps to ignite or that you can work with that maybe they have strengths that you don't have or you have strengths that they don't, they don't have and that you can work together and motivate each other. Um, because sometimes you can, it can get stagnant and, um, and you just need that little extra helper push. I, new ideas, um, just new perspective. Um, don't overthink it. It's like, it's like, like I said in the beginning, I wasn't even trying to do anything for a business. I was just using the oils and I was looking them up and figuring out, oh, hey, my kid's got this. Let me try this. Let me look it up in my book. And then I was just saying all my friends that I talked to, hey, this is so crazy. Listen to what I did. You need to try this. And by that time, my immediate circle of people, the people I work closely with, my friends that I'm close with, or my family that I'm close with, families usually last, sadly. It seems like they're the last ones to come on board. But friends and coworkers or whoever your group is, and, um, and it just starts there. And then from there, you know, it just exponentially spreads to their pe people you don't even know. Um, and so just keeping it very simple, um, like I said, just using the products, learning about them. If, um, if you make, it's helpful if, if you do wanna share intentionally to make a list of people that like you care about that you can think of and have have that list of people and be like hey let me reach out to these people and connect with them and and help them there's there's many many ways to be very intentional with it um i know a couple of people that on the post said oh i just want to get my oils paid for and that's that's completely doable because i've already i signed my husband up under me to start another leg and i'll talk about that but um I've already, like his paycheck already pays for his oils. So, and that's just with, and he's not doing anything for it. So if that's all you wanna do, that's not difficult at all to, to get those few people. If you're just using it, talking about it, sharing about it. Um, and, and reaching out privately to those people too. Um, not just like passively, Share, always sharing passively on, on the internet. Everybody just scrolls right past. But if you intentionally, privately say, hey, you know, I'm gonna be, you know, my friend's teaching about this or I'm teaching about this. This is some really cool stuff that I found. 
why don't you get on and listen? I think it could be helpful when you said that you had such and such or whatever. Um, and just your own real life personal stuff. Um, and, and be confident about it too, because what, what we have in these oils is such a strong benefit. I mean, plant, and if you, when you look back and you read about the history of all this stuff, and that it's been around for thousands of years. People have been using plant medicine. You look, you go and you use it, you try and it works. Be confident in that. Because a lot of people like to, you know, doubt it. Oh, it's, you know, snake oils. What are you doing? It's kooky, crazy. That doesn't work. And it does work. Um, being in medicine for 20 years myself, that's our whole medicine cabinet is all herbs and oils and stuff. So. They definitely work. Um, and then just always, always learn. Keep learning. Um, like I said, find a new product, find a new oil, and just look it up and, and, and search for that. You should definitely have a reference guide if you're, if you're planning on doing this. As a business, definitely have your, this is the big reference guide. Um, we can get these for about 45 or $50, I think, with one of our accounts. Somebody will um, hook you up with that. Uh, but there's a smaller one that's like 20 something dollars. That's perfect. Just a little pocket reference that has all of them and all the oils in there. Um, the big one has the supplements and everything in there. So if you're looking in more into the supplements and um, nutrition type things, that would be this big book. Um, let's see. So one thing, um, just look around in the virtual office. So when you log in to your account, um, look around in there, there's a, a section called member resources and it is full of information, graphics, things for you to share, like, um, so many so many resources in your in the virtual office just when you log into the account um, and then if you are big on social media there's several different um, resources there as far as websites and let me let me try to pull it up here let's see Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, here we go. All right. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? I'm hoping y'all can see that. Maybe you could screenshot it. Um, okay, good. So these are just a few of the Instagram counts that I really love at the top there. Um, they just put out really pretty stuff and I just love like watching their story and listening to what they're doing just in their general life. Um, the middle one has the web, some good websites. Um, there's the Young Living blog. You can learn a ton of stuff off of that blog. It's called The Lavender Life. And then reach for the apex.com and there's the password there. There is um, a lot of information on there and there's I put training modules there and Haley Aliff is the head of this website. She's our upline above us. She's very helpful. Uh, that's gonna be kicked off in a couple of days. So everybody will have access to these training modules from beginner all the way on. So that'll be very helpful. And then some Facebook pages, uh, Young Living Training and Education always has a ton. Um, the Lifestyle Freedom, Facebook group is a load of information. And then the one that uh, I have is Seeds to Soul. Um, okay. So those are some of the ones that I like. Um, another really good thing to have is your link to your Young Living account. So when somebody says, hey, how do I get that? Um, you are going to share your your personal link that Young Living has set up for you. So this is a little um, instruction on how to set up that link. 
So you just go to your Young Living account, again, in the virtual office, that member resources that I told you, and then there's Link Builder. And you could just click on that and copy it and paste it, and it's a big, long link. Um, and that's easy to do, and, and that works. Um, make sure your number's correct in there. You could just do that, or if you want, you can go to this bit.ly.com and you can paste that in there and it'll give you a little short link that you make up. So like I made mine bit.ly.slash L Galloway and that's all it has on there. So um, you can screenshot that. That is a really good thing to have, your, your link. So when you're first starting out, this is just a small tip because this is beginner beginner stuff but um there's such a there's a thing called legs when you want when you first start you want to think about that you don't have to know everything about the compensation plan or everything about you know where to put what but there is um the end game is to have six legs and let's see um, basically you are, you would be at the top and, um, another thing, if you are doing this as a business, you really want to be on essential awards at a hundred PV. That is where you commission. So if you, if you don't spend a hundred PV, you don't commission. So that's the only investment you ever have to put into this business is your 100 PV order every month. Um, so if you want to do this as a business and make money, that's really a great, I mean, aspect of it, that that's your only overhead. You're not like stocking products. You're not doing that. You're just spending your 100 PV on your products that you're using. And that is how you're able to learn about them and share about them because you're actually using them every month. So here's a, an example of three separate legs. So say you wanna sign up your best friend, she'll be one leg, then you can put, you know, oh, my mom signed up, I put her as one of my legs as well. And then here, I'm gonna start a third leg with my work friend that signed up and I can start putting all work people under that leg. So if you could just start thinking about those first three legs, um, that is really beneficial. Six legs to get you to the very top of the business, but three at first is really, I mean, if you can just get into that mindset of putting those legs in order, um, you sometimes, you know, you try to put people together that can work together. Uh, sometimes it's instinctual. Sometimes it just happens um, where, where the people land. Um, so that's, that's also something to think about, but if you have specific questions on that, I don't want to get too much into that, um, complicated with all the legs where to put, but if you can just think about that, you'll eventually need six or just focus on those three. So I have four right now that I'm really focused on that are my legs and that will get me to platinum and platinum. Um, let me see. I think I put the, uh, um, the income disclosure statement here. So, uh, let's see, uh, right now I'm at gold. So this is the annual income. They used to have it by months, but this is annual. So the lowest is 4,000 a year. The highest is 400,000 a year and the average is 40 something a year. And that's, that's about right. So if you are just getting your products paid for, um, let's see, you'll be about senior star or so. And that could make about 2,000, one to 2,000 a year, which would pay for your 100 PV order every month for 12 months. Um, so that would be, yeah, senior star. And there's only two legs necessary for that. Um, so I am working towards platinum, which could make upwards of, you know, 100,000 a year, up to 900,000 a year. So that's, that's kind of crazy to think about. But 
but it's true and people do it and it's it's not for everybody but it's there for anybody and and anybody can actually do it if they you know put their mind to it um so talking about when you want to sign your friend up um in the beginning there is um there's a you'll put somebody as the enroller and the sponsor so uh, the enroller is uh, typically the person who was, you know, introduced you to the oils, um, has helped you, is going to be, you know, helpful to you. That would be the enroller. And then sponsor could be you. You could be both the enroller and sponsor. Or if you are trying to build legs, you'll put somebody else as a sponsor. So in this business, you're always wanting to help the people that are underneath you. Um, so you're wanting to build your legs, but then you're also helping everybody else in that process. So that is, um, but in the beginning I did, I was the enroller and the sponsor for all of the people that I introduced into the uh, business. There's some differences in the compensation, um, earnings for that. But in the beginning, just think about building your legs and getting those three legs and um and just go and building from there and helping those people to get their three legs so it's uh you help three or however many and then they can help their people under them you can help them and if if somebody underneath you or if you are wanting to sign people up and you really don't want to stay in contact with them or educate them you're not into it you can always just direct them to whoever's above you that is doing education because like I'm here doing education regardless of you know if your people are here or not so if if like oh I can't do anything this month I signed this person up but I'm really like I have too much to do to even deal with her you just send them to your your upline person or whoever and they will help um, everybody is helpful you know towards each other um, and then just whenever you are placing all those people um, and, and building this organization with all of your friends and family. Just, it's really just, I mean, some of it's instinct and some of it is just, um, is, is just relationships and, and communicating and seeing where, where it would best fit to put people that would work well together or in the same type of like, I placed all of my work friends in one of my legs. So that whole leg was work friends and I was helping one of my work friends grow. So I was putting all the work friends under her to help her, but it was helping me. Um, you know, I, tr I tried to keep, you know, similar people together, but it doesn't always work that way. Um, and a lot of it is just instinct and then a lot of it is just um it is what it is and, and it happened for a reason and and people are where they are I, I like to leave a lot of the a lot of it up to fate but that's just me um let's see what questions do you guys have Hopefully y'all can still hear me. We, we can. Can you hear okay. me? Was I cutting out at all? Because I really can't see anything on this phone, like what's going on. You're like, wait, what? So you <laughs> might mention about the fact, though, in order to commission, you've got to be placing monthly orders. Or right. if you sign someone up one month, in order to get that $50 bonus, you need to spend $50. Yeah, um, I did mention that about, I mean, if you plan to do this business, you really need to be on 100 PV and ER, the central awards is the way to go because you'll be getting free stuff every month anyway. So you may as well do it on essential awards. But yeah, if you have thoughts of doing the business and you want to do it, you really need to spend that 100 PV a month because you need to get to know the products, you need to use them so that you can share about them. Otherwise, how are you going to know? you know, how to help people if you're not, you haven't used it and, you know, oh, I burned myself and I used lavender or whatever. Here, try this. You got a sunburn too. Right. Um, and I feel like essential rewards, and if anybody has questions, we'll be happy to answer it. But 
you start off getting 10% back. Now everything that I order, I get 25% back. I mean, I just had over $200 worth of stuff. And when I thought things were going up, things that I love, like Allerzyme, like, oh my God, I'm spending my points to get, because we use it all the time. So it's nice to be able, or to use it on, I, I often redeem what I, that 25% back on stuff that is kind of a luxury. Like, I don't really need some lip gloss, but I'd love to have some, you know, or something that is expensive, like frankincense or something that is something we use, but it's, it's expensive. And with three kids, you know, okay, they need vitamin C, we need probiotics. I'd love to have frankincense, let me use my, so that it's a nice way, like Lara said, to get a lot of free things, cause you do, but to also get that percentage back to spend on whatever you want is awesome. Um, Danielle asked about having Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, um, I mean, that is a good way to communicate, but that's not the only way. Uh, a lot of us send out and um, through project broadcast or emails, um, or if you are plugged in, like now that I know that you're interested, I'll make sure that, that you get communications through project broadcast or, you know, which is a texting where, where we just text you the information um, so that you can get on these classes or um, are able to communicate if you're not on like Instagram or any social media platform. Um, yeah, just reach out. And now that we know, we'll definitely be able to connect with you without that. Because yeah, some people aren't on that. Gabby, what's up? <laughs> Any questions? No, I think you answered all of my questions. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Okay. Um, so I just signed up my first um, friend today. So I guess I'm a little confused about the sponsor enrollee mm -hmm. part. Okay. So, so, so you would, so you signed up your friend, you, if she's going to be, you, you would be the enroller. And then if she's, if you want her to be directly underneath you mm -hmm. as your, it, it would be your level one, then you would be the sponsor as well. But if you already have legs being built, like say you already had a friend under you and you, and she was interested in doing the business too then you could put it under her and she could be the sponsor. So oh, okay. Gotcha. You would, you as the enroller would get the first three months of the commission at 25% of whatever she ordered. And then after that, you're the person that you put her under would be getting 8% and you would get 5%. Okay. Yeah. And then, but you want to make sure or try to, when you're placing people under somebody, like I went and asked my level one people, I'm like, hey, I want to start doing the business in order to do that. I kind of need to, I see that you're using the products every month. I see you're ordering every month. Care if I start building you or putting people under you, is that something you would want to do? And then, and typically they were all like, yeah. Some of them panned out, some of them didn't. But um, if you're building somebody, you typically want to make sure that that person is on ER and ordering every month or else it won't work out. Because if that person you're building is not going to order, then that messes up your legs. Mm -hmm. Which it doesn't, it doesn't always work out that way. And there are things that happen if somebody stops ordering, then that person will just roll up to you. But, um, but typically, yeah. Because I mean, you have to take a risk, and you have to you have to you have to do that in order to build. And some of them will work out, and some of them won't. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. That answered that question. Thank you. Anything else, Pamela? You got any questions? Everybody's good. Jeannie, did you stop the recording? 
No, I can though. I didn't stop it just in case there were things that other people watching may have would have needed to hear, but I'll stop it right now. Thank you so